Warm greetings to all. I'm Dr. Sabiha, obstetrician and gynecologist from Kaveri Hospital. Uh, today's topic of discussion will be with the postnatal challenges that all women face it. To understand, the postnatal period is the time from the time of the childbirth till six weeks post delivery. This moment is the most precious and a valuable and a memorable moment that each and every woman cherishes this moment. During this postnatal period, there are certain things that women should focus upon because a mother and a child cannot handle it all alone. She needs a big support system. It is her doctor, the staff nurses, the lactation consultant, mom, mother-in-law and the husband and the entire family needs to be united to be with the mother and the child to give her that emotional care. I would say that the mother needs the most important during this period is the emotional care and the support system that they need. Coming to the postnatal period, the problems that the women face are uh, they may have post delivery any history of fever or if there is a chances of any heavy bleeding that they face then when they are in the hospital there are obstetricians where we can take care of these things like fever bleeding related to the blood pressure or the blood sugars we are there to take care of them here once we have discharged these patients say we have two groups of patients one is the one who is a low risk group where they have delivered without any complications and there is a high risk group of women who have delivered uh, say they had some problems and underwent a c-section and they had some blood pressure issues or like any history of uh, seizure disorders and uh, any psychiatric problems which they have gone through all these things so we put them into the high risk category of women Coming to the low risk group, the common basic things that we say, in general this is common to both the women but to the high risk group we need to add on some more things which I will tell it later. Normally we advise for a good nutrition and well hydrated situation. We would ask them to take plenty of liquids, they can take it in fresh juices and the nutrition most important is the protein rich diet iron rich diet which uh, I would uh, say that it should not be restricted respecting to the family practices or the traditional issues is most respected but we would suggest them not to cut down on their nutrition they have to take a good nutrition diet they need their iron and calcium supplementation that we give it to them breastfeeding is the most important where we encourage them in the hospital itself where we initiate the breastfeeding immediately after the delivery for a normal delivery patient and for a cesarean section patient we initiate breastfeeding within half an hour of the delivery immediately and we educate the patient that the initial breastfeed and the colostrum is very important for the baby because that gives the immunity to the baby. At the time of discharge we ensure that the patient does not have any heavy bleeding or any infection or she does not have any fever. So the activity when we come we say that the mothers can do their normal activities. They are ready to take care of themselves. They are ready to take care of their own baby. They can, t they can lift the baby. They can hold the baby. They can walk around but they should not exert or do any strenuous activity going and doing any household work or any kitchen work. You need to follow up with your obstetrician as well as with your neonatologist at least a week post delivery but if you notice any complaints of headache swelling of both lower limbs or any fever which doesn't get all right you need to get back to your healthcare provider or if you notice if there is any incessant cry of the baby not able to latch the baby or if you feel the breast gets heavy or uh, if you have any pain in the breast you have to inform to your healthcare provider so you need to take care of yourself 
along with your family change in the patient then we need to understand her we need to explain to her we need to give time to her and we need to speak out to her to help her out in these difficult situations if they face thank you